Perfect. Good. All right. Take a break. Now you can flip over on your back. Put something underneath your head if you need it. And then you're going to grab a dome or a block. So this is going to be another, this is a same version of the exercise we've already done, which is can your rib cage stay in place when your arms move? That's the question. When your arms go up and over, but once, if there's an over connection between the two, it wants to lift the ribs. Sometimes it's the perfect connection between the two, but there's not enough strength in your abdomen to stabilize your rib cage. Because it's your rectus abdominis that keeps the rib cage in place. So you're going to hold this in front of you as you lie on your back. I would recommend a dome besides a block because it's a little bit longer and that length's going to come in handy for your shoulder for So you're going to hold onto the dome up in the air. Okay, now, let that drop overhead. So we're going to do a few of these without really concern for how they go. Just going up and over. So this is light, so it really focuses on the mobility of an area. It doesn't really stimulate much uh, contraction response. So bring it back up. Now instead of holding it by gripping, if you were gripping, so there's a couple ways to hold it. One is by wrapping your fingers around and using your grip strength. I'm going to take that away. So I'm going to have you take your grippers off and you're going to make your hands kind of flat like this and you're going to press into the block to hold it. And what that does is it makes your shoulders work a little bit more. And then, hold it up in front of you. We're not quite ready to go yet. Hold it up so it's straight out in front of your chest. Rotate your elbows out and in. So if you're an anatomy person, this is internal and external rotation of the glenohumeral joints, right? So you're going to be rotating it around. And the position of your upper arm is really important to core strength as well. We're going to be calling on your lats later on and your latissimus, which is a really large muscle that kind of runs from your pelvis, up through your core, it attaches to the front of your arm. So your arm position toggles with the leverage of that muscle quite easily. So as we go into this kind of shoulder tension, elbows out to the side, makes it harder for us to use our entire torso as things get more challenging. So you're going to hold your elbows towards each other now. So I always say elbow pits uh, forward. You, if you like to think about your elbow, your elbows are pointing kind of down towards your feet. So you're going to maintain that elbow squeeze. So you're going to squeeze your elbows inward towards each other. Maybe put a little bit of a bend. Bend, bend your elbows like oh, an inch or two. Squeeze your elbows in and then start to lower the dome overhead with you doing that. So that really moves your shoulder and your chest. You get to control the range of motion that you have. So you don't have to go down very far. As you're going up and over with the dome, you're going to start paying attention to where your rib cage is. So now the rib cage has got to stay down. So bring your arms back up and over. Bring the rib cage down. And only go over as far as you can without the rib cage coming up. You're using the front of your abdomen to do that. What you don't want to do is tuck your pelvis or squeeze your butt to do that. It's really the ribs pulling down towards your feet from the front of your body. I'm going to put this under your head. Look that there. And so this, can you bring them? Yeah, bring that down. Perfect. Then bring your elbows towards each other. Good. When you start working with something heavier, it'll be easier to find what that piece is. All right, so ribs stay down this way. Think of pulling, think of pulling. You've got, you've got muscle that runs from the front of your rib cage to the pelvis. So as you're overhead, just think of, it's almost like your rib cage tucking into a ball as your arms go over. 
and you'll work the front of your abdomen as your arms go over. And this is the same musculature that helps you get up off the ground in the last exercise that we just did. It's like lifting your rib cage away 